guys welcome to the start of a new vlog today is a really exciting day so i wanted to start a vlog and i'm by myself right now because i'm at work jared's at work and i was just driving to work thinking i really want to document this day so today is a big day because we are officially closing on our construction loan y'all just don't even know you probably have an idea because you've heard us say over and over and over we're building a house we're building a house but you're like but where's the house it has just been like just just thing after thing with getting our house plans ready getting appraisals done it's just been a learning experience and it's finally here we closed today I have the cashier's check or the official check that I just ran to the bank and grabbed and I also grabbed some Sorry, my hand's in the way. I'm using my phone. I'm learning that vlogging on my phone's a lot easier around like our hometown. I ran and got some Chick-fil-A because it's my baby's favorite food. He doesn't ever throw up Chick-fil-A, but if I look like I'm about to die, it's because he makes me sick all the time. We didn't have a vlog last Monday because I was just so sick last week and I'm 25 weeks today. And I would think that that would start kind of going away, but Mm. my nausea has actually gone away though so if you ask me if I'm thankful I'm absolutely thankful because I would rather throw up all day long than be nauseous all day long but sorry if this is TMI my body's picky it's become like extremely lactose intolerant i was already lactose intolerant before but now it's just like my body or my son i don't really know who's not letting me keep stuff down but it's one of, it's either me or him but he seems to be picky just like his mama so i don't know i don't know how all that works i've never been pregnant before so i'm just taking it day by day and staying thankful and grateful but last night i didn't get any sleep i think i slept an hour last night and i'm out of breath from just talking. This is why it's so hard for me to vlog now because I just can't ever breathe. I slept about an hour last night because I'm still kind of getting used to having a baby bump. I'm getting acquainted with having to sleep with a baby bump that I'm so thankful to have, but man, is it different trying to fall asleep now than it usually is. Anyways, I'm at work. Sorry for this ramble. I need to get this vlog started. I'm pretty much only gonna be vlogging today, so I figure the more I talk, the more <laughs> more footage we have because there's really nothing to do here. We're going to work. I got Chick-fil-A. I went to the bank. Um, I only have one client this morning and I've gotta go pick up our permit to be able to break ground. I'm so excited! So anyways, um, Jared gets off at 1. It's currently 8.57 in the morning. I've been up since 6 o'clock. I don't think I went to sleep till like 5, but <sighs> it's gonna be a good day. We've waited so long for this day. <laughs> So I just got home. I had to go to the health unit to get our sewage permit because we live, we're building way out in the country. And so we have to have our own like sewage. Super. I had to get our builder's permit. So I've done both of those. And what time is it now? I think it's like 12 o'clock. Jared will be home in like 45 minutes. I've got to get ready because I don't really want to wear a Louisiana t-shirt and yoga pants to go sign some of the most important documents. That was easy and fast. I ran into the health unit and got that done. And so uh, it's just like one thing more off the checklist. And I felt so stupid because the lady was like asking me all these questions and Jared has handled everything so far. And so she kept asking me questions. I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know. And she looked at the other girl like, this girl don't know anything. And I said, I'm sorry, I promise I'm not stupid. I just, I haven't done any of this. Like you're asking me questions I, I don't know because I haven't, I'm only here because my husband's at work. So be nice. But I got it done and I'm pretty proud. So now I'm gonna go get ready real quick and wait for Jared to get home. Okay y'all, Jared is off work. Hey y'all. So glad to have him home so early. He's usually off like at 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, but because he had to take off for this, he got to come home at like 12.45 and he gets to be off the rest of the day. Hopefully this doesn't take a long time. So we just run in, sign stuff, sign our life away, give them all our money, and then, and then we can go like eat or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're headed to a lawyer's office 
which we were kind of confused. We were like, why aren't we signing at the bank for our construction loan? Like, since that's who's giving us it. But I guess because it's such a, like, a big loan, it's not like getting a car or something. You have to go to a lawyer's office and sign paperwork. So we're doing that. Yeah, hope that goes well. I'm kind of, kind of nervous. I've never in my life signed my name to something like this before. This is humongous. It's kind of terrifying, but also really exciting. We worked really hard to get here. So this is the beginning of our actual house building. Like we've had preparation to where we've done our house plans and that has taken like two years, two years to do our house plans. And that's done. And now we officially start our building. I can't wait for y'all to see it and see our house because it's, we've kind of kept it a secret. We haven't showed you our house plans or anything, but if you know me, then you can probably guess what kind of house style it is and what it's gonna look like. If you've watched our channel for a long time, you know what my kind of like taste is as far as like architecture and things that I like. So you'll see, but all we go to literally sign our life away. Okay, it's done and official. They're turning back now. They're huh? turning back now. Our signature's on about 7,000 pages. We have money to build a house. So now we just gotta build the house. Can you call our contractor? Oh yeah. Tell him we're ready to go. Wow. All right. Here, we did it. We did it. We did it. We almost gave up. It was a little rough there for a minute, but we it's did like it. It's like Monday morning. <sighs> we need a guy moving dirt. Okay, let's go get a snack. And by snack, I mean like snow cone. Let's go get a snow cone. Okay. Baby wants a snow cone. And mom wants snow cones. We want snow cones. Two of them, one for him, one for me. Okay, we're on our way home. Finally, we have had a very busy day. And we stopped and got some celebratory snow cones because that's the baby's favorite food. That, Chick-fil-A. What else does he really like? Popsicles. He likes frozen ice a lot. So every time that we talked about going to get a snow cone, the baby would wake up. It's, I'm telling you, it's <laughs> Dundee. He's your baby for sure. For sure, I love snow cones. They're like my favorite food, probably. I love a snow cone. So we did that, and now we're headed home. We're possibly gonna go grab the dogs and go out to Jerry's mom's house. Cause we've got to like really figure out where we wanna put the the house and kind of like get an idea of kind of how catty cornered or not catty cornered or, there's just, we have a lot of land, so we really gotta pick it out very specifically. And we've gotta tell the guy tomorrow where we're gonna put it. It's gonna be there forever. And it's not a decision I wanna, make in five minutes. Jared's like, we have to go all the way out there just to do this. We could do it tomorrow. It's such a big decision. Yeah, I know. I don't, I want to have time to think about it, see it, sleep on it, and really make sure that we're making the right decision because we can never move it. Like once it's there, it's there. I can't scoot it over or tilt it you can't a little. Just push a house over. <laughs> no, I wish. I wish it was like on Animal Crossing. Does anybody <laughs> else play Animal Crossing? When you get a builder's kit and you can like vision it, no? Anybody? <laughs> Anyways, I wish that you could do that with like your house and see exactly where you want it. And be like, nah, that's not right. And then move it a little and see it. Be like, that's it. And then it builds in 24 hours. Yeah, if only that was that easy, huh? If only. So, we're going to get the dogs. I'm going to change out of this dress. Jared's going to put on something comfy. And we're going to relax. <laughs> So it's the end of the day almost. The sun's going down on our land. You can tell where I've been outside for a while. It's <laughs> it is hot. very humid. It has already been a Louisiana summer. I know. I saw a thing today that said there's got to just be a screen door between Louisiana and hell right now. <laughs> and I'm like, you're right. Basically. So we're out here. We're putting some sticks out and we have some spray paint that we're going to mark off kind of where we want the edges of all of our house to be to kind of get an idea where exactly what we want to put our house. It's so hard to envision it with nothing there. So we've got- We've gone back and forth on this for quite a while. So <sighs> this has been the best way so far though that we've found to actually be able to see where we're wanting it. And I think we've got it. We've never even showed them our land before. And we can because it's literally <laughs> in the middle of nowhere and we're good. <laughs> Privacy is not an issue out here. So this is our land. So we have way more than it looks like, but this is all our land. We are putting our house basically right where they're standing. So Jared's mom that's and dad and brother are helping us. So that's right where the edge of this corner of the house is gonna be. And that's where the front door is gonna be. And that is where the other edge is. Oh no, the middle stick, <laughs> the front door. And then there's another stick way over there. That's the other edge of the house. We're gonna but, like officially stake it tomorrow, I think. It was just a good rough estimate. And I want this to be in the very, very corner peak of our house and I want the trees to be in the background and this tree I don't know if you can tell but it's dead but we're gonna cut that down tomorrow that tree's coming down or 
two days later. That's what we're doing. You didn't show that part. Oh. Show, like, huh? I know. Like. So there's, it goes from there where Jared's truck is all the way back here and all the way back there. Like it looks like that's really close, but <laughs> it is really far. Like there's a swing back there. If you can see how small it is, it's a huge pergola swing. So it's really big and it's hot out here. <laughs> so we're all struggling, but we've got to get this done because we don't want to be rushed tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. for sure. Whenever we kind of get an official, okay, this is where it's going. <laughs> we're going to have this documented so we can watch this forever. Can you believe this day's finally come? No, I cannot. We have... <laughs> how many times have we been out here doing stuff where it was like not even in the foreseeable future I don't that know. we were building? Dana, can you believe this day's here? If anybody's happy, I am. <laughs> I was trying to show the land, but you can't hardly really even see, like, you can't even tell how big it is. We got a lot. We have 5.1 acres of land. <laughs> and this is a maple tree. And it actually grew up through an old dead, I don't know, bush. And a, a wild maple tree just started growing in the middle of it. So we're going to cut the other around it off. <laughs> and have a free, provided by nature, maple tree. We went to the store, so we needed a whole tree. And we got push pops. Which color did you get, dear? A purple one. Did you've got an orange one? one. Which color did you get, red? red? I have not had one of these since I was like five. Have you, Jared? No, we were. It was crazy. We were just talking about them. They're like not the Flintstones ago. ones, but they're the regular. And then we saw them at the store like two days. Ago. I think we got these at like Dollar General. <laughs> Everybody's so tired. It was a lot of work being out there on that land when it did. Yeah, it was. Sorry, I'm over here researching dog food right now. Dog food. Hey, did you Google if your eyes can get lighter when you're pregnant? Like, my eye color has always been, like, a super light green. Sometimes it turns blue, but most of the time it's green. But I, we feel like it was a lot darker. But it is, like, super... I don't know if you can tell in the vlogs how light my eye color is. But I feel like since I've been pregnant, my eye color has gotten lighter. Me and Jared both do, so we're just trying to figure out if that's like a thing that can actually happen. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. I realized while I was editing this that we didn't end the vlog. We just like kind of <laughs> stopped and we do that a lot. People are like, wow, that's an abrupt ending. So I'm trying to make sure that we're ending our vlogs like properly. But anyways, just wanted to pop on here and say thanks for watching. We're so excited and we're so lucky to have your support and your excitement with us on this journey. It's just, we've waited so long for this. To say that we've worked so hard for this is such an understatement. It's been a long time coming. A lot of schoolwork, a lot of saving, a lot of hard physical work, building careers, building businesses, just a lot of everything. And we're just so happy that it's finally here. We were talking about um, the other day how when we were out on the land, it was just crazy to think that our little boy is going to grow up on that land running around it. And it's going to be the only home that he knows. And so it's just such a sweet moment and so we closed on our loan to build our house on july 10th and today is july 13th and we've officially broken ground today a guy came out with his bulldozer and is building our house pad today he had to cut down the big dead tree and um move some dirt onto it so he's gonna be finished with our house pad tomorrow or the next day and then we start our forms and we just keep going from there. It's crazy that this is actually here. Like, I cannot wrap my head around it. I told Jared it was really weird because we've looked at that land for like eight years, just the way it is, and dreamed of a house on it. And it's, and it's officially, as of today, altered. Like a tree's cut down, dirt has been moved. Like it'll never look the way that we've seen it for eight years again. And it's kind of a weird feeling. We're thankful, but it's just still, still odd that it's gonna look different forever now. But I just wanted to end the vlog here and say thank you for watching and we will see you in our next one.